Hello friends, welcome to my channel and myself Ananda and today we are going to discuss on Mulesoft Cloud of 2.0 monitoring capabilities. So basically this video is on what all out of the box monitoring uh, capability offered by Mulesoft for application running on Cloud Hub 2.0. So in this video, we are going to see these four uh, monitoring capabilities. Uh, one is uh, dashboard, so custom dashboard as well as out of the box building dashboards. And then we'll see how to um, uh, use the logging features uh, and then the diagnostics features and the alert feature. So there are many other features are also available out of the box and based on the license category, uh, if uh, someone having titanium license, it has many more other uh, facilities uh, or out of the box capabilities for monitoring available as through their license. Uh, and those capabilities or those uh, features are very much important to pinpoint a transaction failure or monitoring a critical transaction. And it's very, I mean, very quickly and it's very helpful for the, the operation teams. Uh, but since for this video, I am using my trial versions, any point platform, so I cannot show everything, but whatever is available to, uh, I mean, what is basic minimal availability or whatever is the basic offerings of MuleSoft for any type of license, including trial version, we are going to explore those. And while exploring, maybe I can explore, I mean, I can touch base on some of the features which are actually available with higher uh, category of license like titanium license. So let's uh, look into that. So I logged into my trial version AnyPoint platform and I have a application deployed. Let me get into that application to just show you how I deployed that application. It's a very basic application i have deployed for uh, demo purpose and this application is round, uh, running on cloud hub 2.0 and um, if you see i have uh, deployed it on two replica and i am running this application on a cluster mode and uh, let me before we start let me just fire some transaction so let me see so that I can I can generate some traffic which we can utilize while uh, exploring those uh, monitoring capabilities. So yeah, I have generated some traffic. Now let's start with uh, dashboard. So a uh, many point platform offered a dash out of the box <clears throat> dashboard, uh, which will give at least I believe I mean it has eighty different uh, out of the box uh, monitoring or KPI uh, uh, features available for tracking purpose or monitoring purpose. And it is distributed or uh, divided across multiple categories. So this is the general overview. Uh, if I go here so I can see what is the average response time, how much errors occurred, uh, what are the mule messages are coming. And uh, I can also change the time duration so i can see for last five minutes last 30 minutes or maybe i can see on a particular date from a specific time range uh, what is the status of my application and there are uh, many insights available through these dashboards like i can see all the inbound requests i can see outbound uh, transactions Mm, there are infrastructure details which will sh show which will show my CPU utilization, my JVM heap used, how my application is performing, how underneath uh, capacity is. Um, I mean, while the application is running, the underneath capacity means number of replica or size of replica is sufficient, or I need to uh, do a scale out or scale up. So everything I can get, I mean, from this particular dashboard and it is out of the box dashboard. And if I go to monitoring, so this monitoring, then uh, if I go to any point monitoring, there also I will see a built-in dashboard. And here I can select the environment and then I can select the resource. And then if I click on view, it will also show me 
uh, all these uh, uh, KPI graphs or KPI, I mean, I, I, so, I mean, it, it will create visuals on all those KPIs, which are very much helpful or very much easy to monitor my application for my ops team. They can immediately understand what is going on on a specific time. And you can see again, I mean, I can change my uh, time range. I can take a day. I can give some time range. I can ask, I mean, I can see last 30 minutes or last one hour or last, last 24 hours or even last 30 days, what is going on. So this is basically uh, build in dashboards. And if you are a Titanium license holder, you will get many more options over here, additional options. And you can like you can get a option called connections. So you can see all the connectors used in this API or application, how those connectors are behaving. So uh, with Titanium license, additional capabilities or additional features are available. Uh, I can go to custom dashboard also. So if I uh, want to create my own uh, custom dashboard for for uh, some, uh, I mean, comparison or some kind of, uh, means like if I want to see what is the average response time for a specific uh, uh, time range, over a specific time range, or what is, what is the average request count over a specific uh, uh, time range. So if I want to create that kind of um, uh, kind of monitoring features, I can use this custom dashboard. So let's see how, I mean, let us explore this custom dashboard a bit. So <clears throat> let's create a new dashboard for exploring what custom dashboard does. So I can add a graph. I, before that, I can give a name to this new dashboard. Uh, let's, let me give this new dashboard name as demo cloud hub dot o monitoring. I'm just giving a name, but uh, you can create your some, something more meaningful. Uh, and then I can give some uh, description uh, about this dashboard. I can tag this dashboard and I can use time zone and I can use some graph tool tip so I can use uh, default and now I will add apply change. I'm not changing anything else uh, but there, these are the things I can do and let me apply this apply change. So uh, I'm going to save it. Yes, now I have created one uh, dashboard. Now I have to add some features. So I will add a graph. So I will add a graph. So let's now configure this graph. Once I uh, add one graph in this uh, dashboard, I need to configure it. So for configure, let's give a panel title. Let's see if I give average request count And I can give a description also. This is average of all waste. The time range or something like this. And then I can create a panel. I will use application panel because uh, I have deployed an application. It's not an API. I mean, I don't have any RAML or any kind of API specification associated with it. So I will keep it as application panel. I will go to sandbox and this is my resource or this is the application I deployed. And I will take this average request count by endpoint. So there are many options available. So I will take the first option just for demo purpose. But as per your requirement, you can take any one of the metrics and accordingly it will pre start creating the graph. And there are a lot of out of the box uh, 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 metrics are available. So you can, you can monitor or basically custom dashboard is used for trained analysis. So what the period, what is happening? I mean, how this API or application or API is performing with respect to many metrics, obviously. So based on your requirement, you can uh, create your, 
create this panel and in fact in one dashboard you can have multiple panels so it's not like that uh, you i mean if you want to create a dashboard with many panels or one single window pane for uh, uh, monitoring multiple kpi or multiple trends of your of, or, or the multiple trends from with different aspects you want to monitor from a single place so you can design your custom dashboard accordingly so for just for demo purpose i am just creating uh, this one specific uh, uh, panel okay now let's move to this axis so i can i can uh, means define that how my x axis and y axis will, uh, should looks like so anyways x axis is the time range this is what is the time range and y axis uh, i can give some name also let me give a label so let me give it as average request and it will name it as average request count or I can give it average request count so let me define it in that way uh let's go to visual uh, this is the line and how how i can fill up this line so i can get bars also okay. already you can see that since i have created or uh, before starting this demo i show that i have just create some uh, transactions so automatically it's showing me that around 6 30 my local time and uh, there were some traffic so i can make it a little bit uh, line width also i mean if i want i can make it more uh means i i i can i can uh, change this uh what how i mean this this uh, this uh, numbers this is these are actually basically scales at which i want to fill this uh, uh this particular bar or what will be the line width so anyways uh i didn't uh explore much these options but yeah i believe that is the that is how i can do it and then i can create advanced alert also but uh, that feature is not with me as i mentioned that some of these features are with only titanium subscription so if someone has titanium subscription they can create alert basically when you are monitoring so if it your uh, parameters or uh, the trends you are analyzing if it reach to a threshold level or if it is go beyond a threshold level then it can trigger an alert and there are some advanced feature also we can uh, set up so this is how i can create a, a custom dashboard and i can create a custom panel for uh, to do some kind of i mean to to observe the trends um around the application i deployed on my mules of cloud up 2.0 so next let's uh, let's check the uh, another feature so that is the log feature so how i can see uh, the log and how i can uh, traverse through the log messages and how i can find out the if i want to look for anything specific on the logs so i again move to runtime manager let's go to application and then click on this application and here you will find the log feature so there is a this is the log feature uh, and this is the i mean this is the logs feature in the sense this is the log console and from that log console what i can do i can search for any specific uh, uh, text message so uh, suppose i want to check with anything comes with configuration so if i do that and search for that it will show me all those lines where configuration is um, i mean there is the something is mentioned um, uh, mentioned with configuration so text containing configuration or maybe config i can get by filtering out with this <clears throat> i mean i can filter out through that specific uh, text so in case you are using any correlation id or something accordingly you can put that correlation id over here and based on that you can see that for a specific transaction through that correlation id 
uh, how it is moving or how it is that transactions happen. So that is one way of doing searching logs. The other thing is that through configuration. So here the configurations are uh, uh, available. So every time you deploy the, your application, it will deploy on a config specific configuration. So this is the last successful deployment on my of my application. So the I mean the, the actually the thing is that I mean whenever you redeploy your application, uh, it will always pin up a new replica. And on that replica, your application will be provisioned or available. So before that last deployment, I have this configuration. So if I want to go back and see how that configuration was behaving or when the application was running, be, I mean, how my application was uh, performing or behaving before the last deployment, that also I can see. And as you see, can see here that logs are kept up to 30 days or 100 MB per config. So let me go to the latest uh, last successful deployment. And now you can see that uh, here it is showing the replica name also. So if I want to see that how my con, because as I show you in the, at the beginning, my application is running on two replica. So I have basically two replicas. This is one replica. If you well, you just check, I mean, uh, uh, observe this uh, replica name. This is 5HP9F. And there is another replica, ZQQ8Z. So if I want to see the logs only for this replica, if I click on here, then it will automatically show me. One filter got automatically added and it will only show me all the log messages coming from this particular replica. And if I clear that, and then if I click here, then it will show me only the log associated with this replica. So I can filter out log message based on replica. So I can filter out based on configuration. I can filter out based on replica. I can filter out with any e, uh, uh, uh key message or keyword from the on the log message i can also filter the log based on some time range or i can filter out based on log level so these are the available all five log levels so if i only want to see the info or warning or error or fatal i can do that by selecting a specific log message so this is all the capability or this is these are the facilities available or out of the box available, uh, offered by uh, MuleSoft for CloudUp 2.0 applications. Now, if you are on Titanium, you uh, Titanium subscription, you will also get another feature that is uh, you can aggregate the logs and from uh, this uh, monitoring section, you can also see another section called log management which is not available at this moment because i am i mean that is not available in any other type of subscription or in trial with trial version uh, so with titanium subscription uh, you will having another feature coming up here called uh, log management so here you can manage your log in an aggregated fashion and that will also very much helpful to find out a specific error or if someone, I mean, if your end customer is asking or complaining some for something or they are, or be, I mean, they are facing some situation and they come to Opstream, then Opstream can, I mean, they, that, that log management, uh, log uh, search feature is very much helpful for Opstream to immediately I understand, I mean, uh, identify what is going on because in that feature, there are a lot of filtering options, advanced filtering options are available. Uh, there is also another option called log points. Uh, I guess that is where you state, I mean, you need not to write any code or you need not to do any redeployment, but there are connectors who are uh, readily support this lock point feature. So if you enable that lock point feature, then it will start generating a lot of um, uh, log messages and it will help you to trace a specific application transaction. I mean, for debugging purpose or for analysis, analysis purpose. But uh, lock point is not recommended to uh, 
keep uh, enabled for a long period of time because it takes a lot of storage. So whenever there is a requirement to do some kind of deep dive or some kind of insights is needed, so you can use lock point. Because uh, if you don't want to add any additional uh, uh, logging capability in your application and don't want to redeploy your application again, readymately want to see what is going on if I can generate some kind of additional logging message and uh, you can use that lock point feature. So you can explore lock point feature mode and you can see how it can make you, I mean, how it can be helpful for you. But only thing is that lock point is also available with Titanium subscription. Okay, now uh, let us explore this uh, alert feature. So first we'll go to runtime manager because you can set alerts from two uh, places. One is from runtime manager. So you can, I'm not going to set any alert. I just show you that uh, what are the uh, features are available. So if you click on these alerts from here, you can create a your, uh, alert for, for your applications or for the entire server. Uh, if you are running on, uh, uh, runtime, I mean, sorry, if you it's on prem, I guess then you can use the servers, but for uh, uh, Cloud Hub, it's application on prem, you can do application as well as servers, both the things you can do. Uh, so, if you, see, I mean, I'm just selecting applications, so I just want to create an alert on my application. I can give any name, like I can give demo alert, and I can choose the application type. So it can be Cloud Hub application, hybrid application, and now it's newly added Cloud Hub 2.0 application. So since I am working with Cloud Hub 2.0, I will select Cloud Hub 2.0 application. And then I can choose any application running on that Cloud Hub 2.0, or I can select a specific application already deployed on my Cloud Hub 2.0 uh, deployment. So I can select this and then i can check the condition i mean i can select a condition so at this moment for cloud up 2.0 uh, from uh, this place i have only two options available either i can select a notification on deployment failure or i can uh, select a note i mean send a notification on deployment success and then i can create a email subject body and some custom message and then I can add the recipient. So I can add the user or I can directly add a email ID and the notification alert notification will go to that specific uh, email address. Uh, and as I mentioned, severity level also I can select. It can be critical, it can be warning. So now if I don't use Cloud Hub 2.0 application, I mean, if my application is running on Cloud Hub application, which is uh, the Cloud Hub 1.0, uh, runtime. So there, if I use that, then from this place, I can select many uh, options. I mean, there are many conditions based on which I can set my alert. Like if it can be a CPU usage. So if I use CPU usage, I can mention that if my CPU usage, what will be the threshold level after that, I will send the alert message to my ops team. Uh, but uh, for cloud up 2.0, uh, if I am going to set up a alert from this runtime manager, then only as I show you that only two options are available at this moment. So the other push part where from I can set the alert is the uh, uh, monitoring. So if I go to monitoring and I can select, a, select this alert, I can select a new alert and I can select basic alerts. So I can give a alert name, say suppose test cloud up 2.0 and I can select severity here also. Okay, more or less same like what I'm doing in uh, cloud, Hub, uh, sorry, what I was doing from runtime manager. But uh, only thing is that from here you can set alerts on uh, many conditions. I mean, there are many more conditions available than what it was, I mean, than, than what it was in uh, runtime manager because runtime manager for cloud up 2.0 only two condi conditions are available out of the box. 
so i can select in for warning whatever it is and i can use source type as application or i can use fpi also so at this moment i am uh, selecting source type as application and i can select uh, uh, design sandbox because in sandbox environment my uh, resource is deployed so i can select this uh, application or resource name so basically when you are setting up alert from here you are setting up from a specific environment and for a specific resource and then you can set up your condition like you can use message count or message error count or whatever it is i mean there are many uh, out of the box basic alerts are available so you can select any one of and you can mention that like if message error count is above one for at least uh, five minutes so that means that as they mentioned i mean as it is showing this alert will trigger when the message error count is above one for at least five consecutive period of one minute that means if for five consecutive minutes means uh, min first minute there is one error second minute there is one or more error third minute then one or more error and if it is keep on continuing for five minutes or uh, i mean still till fifth minute then it will trigger a alert and so you can define it for five minute 10 minute 15 minute or 20 minute as per your choice and uh, uh, this this is the subjects will be created like this and there will be a lot of uh, system parameters which will be replaced at runtime with the actual uh, setup you have done here. So whatever will be your severity based on that, whatever severity you have uh, select. So this live info will be replaced here. So that way you can create it will create on the fly. It will create a, a specific error. Uh, message and it will mail that error message to the uh, intended recipients and here also you can you can give a either you can use a select organization user or you can type an email and then you can create your alert so anyways i'm not creating the alert at this moment i give i believe that you can understand that how alert works at least basic alert works okay so I think last thing what we are going to uh, explore is the diagnostics. So let me go to runtime manager again. So this is new in cloud up 2.0. So cloud up 1.0, we have insights. You will not find insights in cloud up 2.0. Uh, instead of insight, you have to use uh, any point monitoring. And but cloud up 2.0 has a unique feature that is the diagnostics feature. So here with the diagnostic feature, uh, I mean, you can easily take a thread dump and you can see uh, that, uh, I mean, uh, if you have to debug uh, your something and you want to see that what is going on at the underlying infrastructure level, uh, you can take a thread dump of your replica, running replica and uh, you can un i mean do your further analysis so if i since my application is running on two replica and i have only one application deployed on my trial version so it is showing me that i mean for i mean uh, which i mean it is showing me all these running replicas and i can select any one of them and start taking a thread dump so thread dumps triggered so i have I have taken the thread dump and it's generating the logs and I can download it also. Meanwhile, I can take the thread dump of the other replica also. So that way I can take thread dump of both the replicas. So now both the replicas are available. If I want to download, I can view here from here also. If I view, it will show me the, yes. So it will show me the, I mean, show me this uh, thread dumps in the logs here, or I can um, directly download this. I mean, I can view the logs and I can directly download these thread dumps. So I can download it and I can uh, open that from my uh, local machine using any text editor and do further analysis even if you are uh, you raised a, 
uh, service ticket or you raised a case with the MuleSoft uh, service uh, team, then, uh, sorry, MuleSoft support team, then you can take this thread dump by your own and you can submit it to with your ticket so that uh, service engineer or support engineer can easily identify what is going wrong. So I open the thread dump, uh, what I have taken, uh, just to show you how it looks like. So this is the entire thread stack. Uh, so, I mean, this is useful if there is any error happening or if I want to, uh, I mean, uh, deep dive into uh, some specific error. So I can take the thread dump and I can try to understand what is uh, going on. So uh, I can view the logs for that specific replica from here, from this diagnostics feature, or I can download the thread dump and which will show me the, uh, I mean, which will show the status of all the threads uh, running inside a replica. And that is useful for, uh, I mean, uh, many, uh, I mean, if if some issue or some something is not going well or something is, uh, uh, some ex error is occurring because of underneath infrastructure issue. Uh, in that scenario, thread dump is very useful. And as I mentioned that if I can take the thread dump and if I raise a support ticket with MuleSoft uh, support engineers and if I can able to share that thread dump, it will be much easier for support engineer also quickly identify what is not going uh, okay. Uh, so I think uh, that's it. I mean, there are many other facilities available out of the box because MuleSoft has a huge uh, capacity in terms of monitoring and uh, in re with, I mean, for, uh, monitoring and observability. Uh, uh, like with Titanium subscription, you show you have additional features like you have reports where you can generate the report from monitoring and you can. Uh, download those reports in form of a uh, Excel file or CSV file. And then uh, you have a functional monitoring where you can schedule and see that periodically that whether your API is functional. I mean, it's kind of a uh, kind of a uh, out of the box uh, uh, testing feature through which you can see that whether your APIs are functionals uh, in a specific environment or not, and you can schedule it so that it, you need not to do anything manually. It will periodically go and check and generate a report. It will give you a nice, easy to understand dashboard and your operation. It's very handy for your ops team. Uh, but anyways, with this trial version, I don't have all those features, so I cannot show it. But yeah, you can further explore on MuleSoft documents and there is one uh, uh, blog is also available, which is uh, very useful on cloud of 2.0 uh, monitoring. Uh, so that's it from for this video. Uh, I believe it uh, you, you find it helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please do uh, share, comment and like it. And also, please subscribe to my channel. It's a really a motivation for me to come up with uh, additional, I mean, more videos on technical front. Uh, very soon, I will come back with another video. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for being with me. And till then, uh, goodbye.